Hi guys, welcome to the session on JMeter tutorial. In the today's session, we will learn how to handle dynamic values that is what is correlation in JMeter. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So let's get started. So first of all, what is dynamic value? Dynamic value so dynamic values are the values which gets generated in the response and it gets changed every time for each iterating request so let me write it down also values gets generated in response changes every time for each iterating requests so let's understand what is this so for that now suppose we have steps of a flow that is to launch application and then to log into the application so for these two steps there would be some requests and there would be some response correct so the, we have two steps with us of the flow and for each these two steps we would have some request and we would be having some response. Now suppose in launch application step in the re response of launch application step a dynamic value gets generated suppose session ID. Okay this dynamic value gets generated in the response of launch app step. Now this session ID gets used in the request of the login to app step, right? So suppose this value is X and this value is X. So when I will do the execution, my script will pass. It won't fail because these values are matching. Here also session ID is X and here in the request also session ID is X, right? But what happens since this session ID is dynamic, let me write it dynamic since this session ID is dynamic is in, in nature, when I will do the execution again, this value will change maybe to Y. And when the execution will come to next step that is login to app, the session ID it will find is X. So the session ID is not matching here it is X and here it is Y correct. So the session ID doesn't match over here in this case my execution will fail. So what we need to do we need to handle this dynamic value. So whatever the value of session ID gets generated in the response the same session ID should be used in the request in the subsequent request. So this is called handling of dynamic values. So how to handle dynamic values? Let me write it down. How to handle dynamic values? So for that the first step is to capture the value to capture the dynamic value from the response that is the this is the response here from here you need to capture the dynamic value. So I will write capture the dynamic value from the response. I will write capture and store. And once you have captured and you have stored the dynamic value from the response, use that stored dynamic value. Use that stored dynamic value in the subsequent requests. Use that captured. and use that captured and stored dynamic value in the subsequent request. So to handle dynamic values, we need to do two steps. We need to capture and store the dynamic value from the response. That is, we need to capture from here and the captured value should be used over here in the subsequent request. 
so we need to do that so let's see how we can do these things from jmeter so let's create a very small script so that we will have a better understanding of the correlation so for that i will create a new script so for that i will add a thread group i will add a test script recorder i'm going to record two steps and i will add a controller recording controller and i will add listener to see the result and let's start recording so now i will quickly record a script so i have already created a video on how to record your test in jmeter so if you want to go in detail you can have a look on that video also here i will here i will be quickly creating a test script so for that i am giving the port number as 9090 which is the proxy which i have set and then i am going to start the test i will use recording no i will use test script recorder and i am now going to start the recording so i will click on start and i will click on okay as i have already downloaded this root certificate now my recording is started so i will going to start so now i will start so i will go to a site newtools.demout.com so i will click over here and then i will give my username and password so i will give my username and i will give my password and i will click on sign in don't save and i have already logged in so i will click on continue so yes i will stop my recording and i would be having some of the requests with me so a lot of request gets generated for me so let's see what i need to select so we will select those requests which are useful to understand correlation so i will select this one this is to launch that application so i will copy it and i will paste it over here and the second request i will take as to login so let me search it so this is the request of login so i will copy it also and i will paste it over here so i will close this one and in the recording controller we have taken the two requests so first request is to launch where we have server name method path and the parameters are empty and the second one is launch sorry the second one is login where we have the server name as this path as login.php and the method as post we have and in the parameters you can see the parameters which are getting passed so the first parameter that is ocs id so what is this we are not giving this value we are not passing this as parameter we have passed username and password but we have not passed this ocs id so what is this so this must be the dynamic value this must be generated from the response of this step and this should be used dynamically over here so this is the value which we need to capture from the response of this step and we need to use that value dynamically over here now for that i will do the execution once and in the view result tree we will see the result so let's start the execution and the execution started launch gets passed and the login gets failed of course it will get failed because this value is changing every time okay and this need to be changed in the script also that's why it is getting changed so let's see how we can handle this one so this is the ocs id which we need to find this id we need to find in the response of launch so i am in the view result tree and in the launch and in the response data i will find this one so let me copy this one and in the response of the launch in the text i am inside the text from the text so i will give the value over here and i will try to find the id so i am in the launch response data response body and i will find so it is not available over here so let's search in the response headers 
so in the responsible so in the response headers you can see this value this ocs id is found so this value is generated over here and that is used in the login okay so for that i will copy this one and i will paste it over here now what we did we have captured this dynamic value from the response we have so let me write it in two steps so for the better understanding just a second we have captured this value right so my first step is over okay so we have captured this value now we need to store the dynamic value so how to store that dynamic value so for that i will go to the related request since this is found this ocs id is found in the response of launch so i will go to launch and i will right click over there and in the add we will have post processors and in the post processors i will add regular expression extractor so i have added this one regular expression extractor and we need to provide some details over here so let's see what all we have so where you want to apply this regular expression extractor we have main samples and sub samples main samples only sub samples only so as of now i am taking main samples so what field you want to check so do you want to check body body as document response headers request headers so we found this value in the response headers right so that's why that's why i will take the value as response headers so we are saying that we are giving the command that to search the value in the response headers because we have found this value in the response headers this is the response headers and we have found the value over here so we have selected response header headers and now you need to give the name of the created variable so what is so we are going to store this value so where we are going to store store as variable so you need to give the name of the variable where you want to store so i am giving the name as uh maybe where i have given the name as var and now you need to give the regular expression so what is this regular expression so regular expression is a sequence of characters that define a search pattern so let me write it down also regular expression sequence of characters that define a search pattern so let's understand this regular expression with the help of an example so what i need to give over here let's understand with the help of an example so i have this website that is regexr.com so let me clear this one and let me clear this also now i will write this is jmeter tutorial now i need to fetch this jmeter from this entire sentence that is this is jmeter tutorial so for this i will write a regular expression so let's see how we can write so i will write this is dot plus question mark tutorial this is my regular expression to fetch jmeter from this is jmeter tutorial so already found one match found and what it is written match this is jmeter tutorial group 1 that is jmeter right so this is the box this is the box you can see so in the group 1 in the below you can see group 1 jmeter got found right so by this way you can extract a value from a long text with the help of regular expression now suppose if i write this is load test tutorial 
so what will happen so by this regular expression the ex regular expression which we provided over here by this regular expression we got two matches we got two matches that is the in the first match we got j meter you can see in this black box below below it is written group 1 j meter and if you highlight in the second sentence it is written group 1 load test right so by this process you can extract any value from a long text okay so this is the regular expression this this is called the left boundary and this is called the right boundary so this is the thing we need to do over here also in the regular expression extractor so let's see what regular expression we need to give so this is the thing which we extracted now suppose this is the thing which we get in the first iteration maybe this ocs id will change to x y z in the second iteration maybe this will change to a b c in the third iteration so what i need to select we need to extract from this whole sentence from this whole text we need to extract this ocs id correct from here i want to select this from here i want to select this from here i want to select this right so how we can do that so for that we will write a regular expression so how we can write i will remove this one i will remove this and i will write dot plus question mark in the brackets so by this way we can select the this ocs id every time from the response since this will be changing every time we will do the execution this ocs id will be changing every time now this is this in the second iteration maybe it will be x y z or in the third iteration it will be a b c so that will be changing every time but if i am putting like this so this ocs id will be selected from this regular expression so i will give the regular expression as this and what is this template so let's understand what is this template so for template i will remove this now suppose i write name equal to name 1 value equal to value 1 correct and in the next line i wrote name equal to name 2 value equal to value 2 now i want to ex extract name 1 name 2 value 1 value 2 previously what were we doing we were extracting only a single value from the first line we were extracting j meter and from the second line we were extracting load test now in a single line i am extracting two things so for that what i will write name equal to dot plus question mark and value equal to dot plus question mark so in this way so in this way what will happen so in this way what will happen you can see from this black box group 1 is name 1 and group 2 is value 1 because we have name 1 and value 1 over here and if you highlight it in the second line what it's written group 1 is name 2 and group 2 is value 2 so what happens this name 1 becomes group 1 and this value 2 become sorry this and this value 2 becomes group 2 and similarly over here this one becomes group 1 and this becomes group 2 so so the first set of value is group 1 and the second set of value is group 2 so similar is the case with template so since here we are giving only one value so only one group will be found but if we are giving more than one value so in that case more than one group will be found so here it's written also template where i is the capturing group number it captures the group number now suppose if i want to select the suppose i want to capture the first group so for that i will write dollar 1 dollar what will happen by this expression the first group will be extracted now if i write 
dollar to dollar in that case the second group if we have any suppose i had dot plus question mark over here also so in that case this group will also be selected so as of now since i have only one group with me so i am going to select i am going to write this dollar one dollar only so in this case but in this case if you want to extract both the values that is name one and value one then you will write dollar one dollar and dollar two dollar but if you want to select only name one then you will write dollar one dollar only correct so this is the template and this is the match number so what is this match number so there might be multiple of matches which gets found right since in this case this is the first match this is the second match so what match you want to get so suppose i want to get the first match so in that case you will write match 1 okay and if you want to find if you want to get match 2 match 3 any number of match you will give that value over here and in the default in the default suppose you didn't get that value so what you want to give the message in that case so for that you will you can give any message i will write value not found i have given this one right so i have already provided the values in the regular expression extractor that means we are done with the second step also store the dynamic value from the response as a variable right now use that captured and stored dynamic value in the subsequent request that i need to do stored dynamic value i will take this as a variable since i have taken as a variable now we will do the third step so what is the third step so for that i will go to this login i will copy this variable which we have created the dynamic value variable and i will go to login and in the ocs id i will remove this value and i will put the variable and for the variables and for the variables you will write dollar curly braces and the variable name right so my all the steps are over we have captured the dynamic value from the response that is this one we have captured we stored the dynamic value from the response that is we have stored the dynamic value in the regular expression extractor and the third step we have used that captured value in the subsequent request that is we have used that value in the request in the subsequent request so we are done with our process now we will do the execution again and in this case my result should pass because we have already handled the dynamic value so let's see let's do the execution so you can see my execution got passed this time because this uh, because we have handled the dynamic value that is the ocs id with the help of correlation so in this way you can do the correlation in your project also you need to handle the dynamic values if you have any in your project if you are not handling the dynamic values then your execution will fail definitely you need to handle those dynamic values and if you have any queries related to that please put in the comment section below and i will try to solve your queries okay that's all for the session thank you have a nice day